it's uh, the physical game of chess. One wrong move and just checkmate. We always train full force. We really train to beat each other up. Once you try once, you, you'll never look back. Whether you've seen UFC fighting on TV or not, one thing is certain. Mixed martial arts is soaring in popularity throughout the world. The same is true here in Chicago. And on the northwest side, there's some necessary roughness going on at Pedro Viana Mixed Martial Arts Academy. The academy has classes teaching men, women, and even children martial arts, such as Muay Thai and Judo. But the main form is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which focuses on fighting on the ground. For a person that really doesn't know anything about it, I would compare it to wrestling, but Jiu-Jitsu is way more advanced. The main goal in Jiu-Jitsu is to submit your opponent, make your opponent give up, break him to the point that he can't fight anymore. With 25 years of training, owner Pedro Viana is a guy you don't want to mess with. The Brazilian native is a third degree black belt and the fourth generation of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighters. Based on Japanese jiu-jitsu, Brazilian jiu-jitsu is not designed for the strong and powerful, but for the smaller person to overcome his larger opponent. It's extremely, extremely technical, which means a weak guy can submit a very strong guy if he knows the technique and the big guy doesn't. Aside from burning off a burger and fries, Chicagoans are training in Brazilian jiu-jitsu because they enjoy the philosophy of the martial arts and, at least for a little while, it's a way to leave day-to-day -day life behind. I'm an air traffic controller. Sometimes, you know, it's just fun just to get away from it all and, you know, it's just like a great stress relief if, if you are stressed out. For that hour and a half, basically, I don't let you think about anything else but jiu-jitsu. Brazilian jiu-jitsu teaches kids some lifelong lessons Little Chicagoans five and over are learning discipline, respect, class structure, and how to keep their bodies healthy at an early age. Kids learn really fast when it's physical, so I would say 95% of kids pick it up like a fish to water. One of the most important things it teaches kids at an early age is empathy. What it feels like to be engaged in a physical struggle, especially on the ground, and they learn that not everything feels good, so they learn, okay, if that doesn't feel good for me, then that must not feel good for somebody else. Oh yes, and if it weren't obvious, if you train in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, your self-defense moves will be top-notch. Pedro says because the smaller man has the upper hand, it's the best martial art to learn for the purpose of self-defense. I join him at the Logan Square Academy to learn a couple of moves to take out a potential attacker. So I'm going to learn to defend myself against TJ. Yes, and that's a great uh, thing because TJ is a body type in which a regular woman would have trouble. He's a big, strong guy. Right, so watch out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the first scenario is if an attacker were to come at me head on and try to drag me to the ground. My first reaction to push him away from his stomach is wrong. No, Grab here. It's to put your hands to push him away on the hip bones. Find his hip bones. Yes. Is what you need to do. Step back, do a little jump back. Then it's time to strike. I'll be nice to you. Yes. All right. So I would really strike, strike him. him somewhere else, but. Yes as hard as I can, obviously. Exactly. Now that this guy would be a little bit weaker, I'd have the opportunity to sneak around behind him and go in for the choke. Use the hand to raise his chin, step back this leg and aggressively hook around his neck. I give him a big squeeze with both arms locked. And as you can see, he's about ready to pass out. In jujitsu practice, when your opponent submits, they let you know with a tap. Oh, all right. Okay, <laughs> so you can really, uh, Take someone out. We then bring things down to the ground in true jiu-jitsu fashion for the second technique used commonly by UFC fighters, the triangle choke. We start out in the jiu-jitsu guard. The boxing guard is like this. The jiu-jitsu guard is when you have someone wrapped in between your legs. Not gonna lie, a little awkward with someone I don't know all that well, but let's face it, it's a scenario that could happen to any person. Put your right foot on his hip bone and slide your hip in that direction, creating room for you to bring this knee to your chest and shoot over his shoulder at the same time you're pulling him into you. Now that I've got him even closer, I can push him to one side, pin him with my legs, and choke him out. So we're still friends, right? Uh. <laughs> so these techniques we just learned, they can be used on someone of any size? 
Yes, yes, you can use it on someone, you know, that's like twice your size. This is the kind of thing that needs to be practiced a lot. At least good six months of practice in order for you to be able to really apply on a more realistic situation. All right. Well, All right. thank you. I feel, You're welcome. Uh, I feel strong. I feel like I uh, learned something today, so thank you. That's great. Thank you. So whether you are a beginner or want to improve your existing mixed martial arts technique, you may want to give it a shot. If you're on the fence and you wanted to try jujitsu, just do it. There is no end to the learning process of technique. People get creative and they develop more and more the technique. In my opinion, learning is one of the coolest things that we can actually do in this world.